I don't think smoking is necessarily necessary, <laughs> but uh, they're really active right now, which is a good thing. It means they're, they're healthy from being shipped and being introduced to their new hive uh, yesterday evening. What I need to do is open the, the hive again today uh, and, and make sure, because um, they're, they're relying on the, their feeder uh, for their uh, sugar water syrup stuff. And I'm gonna make sure, see how that's doing. Anyway, so for the smoker, I just uh, save a little paper for this, a little bit of cardboard or something to, to get actually get some heat going, get some fire going. And then once we have a cardboard fire, I can uh, add some wood chips. And then once we get that burning, we can kind of stuff it out. They're hanging like they are working on a comb. <clears throat> oh wow. It's amazing. That's how they make things plumb. Up and down. They hang off of each other and they build their comb. They make like a bee ladder. <laughs> bee is trying to get in. Oh, you're gonna drown, get out. You really are. You can't just stay in there and eat. You gotta get out. <laughs> I think you're gonna get a honeycomb built on you. I know. Oh man, come on. See, I can't. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. Their little legs are stuck together. She can come out now? I'm just letting her out. We're having to redig out parts of this trench that we did because we didn't get to put our lawn in it right away and a lot of uh, dirt collapsed back in it and that's all because we had our chicken attack and then we had to jump on that project and put up the fencing and put this off so now we're just redigging parts of this back up which is kind of annoying but it's the way it is We have the power now hooked up to the storage building from our house and now we're just going to go ahead and hook up the power to this light pole out here. Oh come on. I don't know on me. Oh, you would be awesome if that wasn't full of water. <laughs> that would be awesome and I don't think that's ever going to happen. I want to feed this up through that same pipe. driving a ground rod for the fence charger and sledgehammer slipped on the rod. My finger went between the handle and the top of the rod and smashed the crap out of it. Probably gonna lose my fingernail now because ever since this fingernail has not grown and it looks like it's starting to separate the cuticle so. It was really bad like right after you did it. Oh yeah it looks way better than it did. Yeah. I mean it like skinned the Took skin, took skin off here mm -hmm. and bled a lot and everything. It's, yeah. It, and it hurt so bad, you were enough. actually nauseated. Oh yeah. It was yeah. bad. That was some of the some of the more severe pain I've had, actually. I've actually broke my finger. I broke this pinky bone <laughs> before. And this hurt way worse than breaking that bone. Yeah. Uh, crazy. <laughs> but 
stuff to do, so to work through it. So now you just gotta run that yeah, gray run wire up there. Well, first of all, I'm gonna go with a new junction box and I wanna get on the north side of that pole where the Sun don't hit it as much? Yeah, it's, it's, it'd be more sheltered from the sun anyway. That was the dumbest thing I've done yet today. <laughs> I forgot about having that setting up there. <laughs> Just... <laughs> That's what I need, mud inside the outlet. Oh my goodness. So tired of mud. I oh, know. <sighs> Say this underground feeder wire doesn't have to go in conduit, even above ground. It's UV resistant, but. As you can see we have this like uh refrigerator leaking thing over here just sitting outside in the rain i guess uh, actually that is a refrigerator freezer that is being returned because we ordered um a natural gas freezer and a natural gas fridge freezer and they sent us two refrigerators so they're going to take this one back and send us our freezer um but anyway, it's just one more point of, you know, having that extra security of not having to have electricity for our freezing, freezing and refrigeration. And actually here, where we live, we are on free gas. So, another bonus. But, yeah, that one's got to go back. And we're just waiting for them to let us know where to drop it off and what date and all that. So, that's what that is. So here in West Virginia, it is not all that uncommon to find properties that have free natural gas. Back when they put in a lot of these gas wells, these shallow gas wells, instead of offering royalties, they offered free gas instead. Now also in West Virginia, you'll often find that the surface rights and the mineral rights have been severed. However, in most cases, when you have these free gas agreements or leases, they transfer to the service rights owner for one property owner to the next. And we don't receive any kind of monetary compensation whatsoever for the gas well on our property. We just simply benefit from the original free gas lease that was put in place a long time ago. And honestly, this, to us, this is just an amazing blessing to have this resource. And we try to use it to the full extent possible by having all natural gas appliances. And obviously it makes perfect financial sense to do so. But not just that, it's another source for us to tap into to be a little more self-reliant and not be quite so dependent on the system functioning to its full potential. So let's come off of this yet. Go up to the light. And back down out of this one. Seems silly to have two conduits going down, but with this uh, underground cable uh, or you know, protective cabling, it's uh, I don't be too tight to try to put them both through this half inch piece. So we got this outlet here on the pole all hooked up and now all we have to do is put a light on the top. There is a light up there but it's just old and it, it all needs to be replaced anyway. So Glenn's gonna get the tractor, Bessie, and he's gonna get the bucket to get up there to install the new light. By the way, 
it might be worth mentioning that this guy is not a power wire, that's a phone wire. So it's not really a hazard. <laughs> It's a coming. Give me a minute. It is coming. Uh, it's starting to rain again. It is like rained on and off all day. And I tell you what, I am so ready for a break in this rain. It is just so muddy and it just slows everything down. So I'm gonna get inside and get this camera out of the rain and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>